Good afternoon, welcome to the Midday Mall for Thursday the 17th of June. Today, following McShane, we're reading Deuteronomy chapter 22, and there's uh, essentially a, a, a red herring verse. Verse 8 says, When you build a new house, make a parapet around your roof, so that you may not bring the guilt of bloodshed on your house if someone falls from the roof. Now that is a verse that was quoted to me by schoolboys when I was still at the school. And they say, ah, oh, sir, you don't have a parapet around your roof. Clearly, you're breaking the law. As a good Christian, the Bible says you must have a parapet. You'd better build a parapet. Um, which got a discussion going. Um, the uh, extension of the discussion would be, but sir, if we don't, verse 8, we, don't, we ignore that in the 21st century. That no longer applies. So there's a whole lot of other laws that also just no longer apply. We can ignore them. We don't have to take them seriously. Um, and that has a whole lot of repercussions as well. Now, it's, a, it's an interesting debate about how we use Scripture. But my position would be that, that all of Scripture is useful. It's God-breathed and useful for, for guiding us and instructing us. And so you take a verse like this and you say, well, you can understand in the sort of 2000 BC, people were, would often go onto their roofs in the evening because that was a cool place to be. The inside of the house was hot, you'd sit on the roof where you could catch the breeze and cool down and relax. And therefore, if you have people going on your roof regularly, to have a parapet around it is just protecting them, preventing accidents from happening. In 21st century South Africa, very few people have that problem. But the principle remains that what you do and the way you structure your life and the way you build your house must prevent unnecessary accidents. So if you have a staircase, you need a handrail on the staircase to prevent people falling. If you've got a swimming pool, you need to have a fence around your swimming pool to make sure people don't fall in the pool and drown. Likewise, if you're driving a car, you need to make sure that your lights work, your brake lights work, because that way you help prevent unnecessary accidents. And so although the, 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 the letter of the law, I believe, no longer applies that we have to have parapets, the spirit and the principle of the law does still apply. We need to live our lives in a way which doesn't expose people to unnecessary um, accident and harm. Just being responsible, being a good citizen. And that's what we need to be. And so a uh, little bit of God's word uh, being interpreted into our current situation. So I pray that you would um, read the word and where there are puzzling passages like this and verses like this, you think, oh God, what does that, how does that work today? That God would open, Spirit would open it to you and you'd realize, ah, I see, this is how we can take the principle of what the, the word says and apply it in our lives here and now. As you struggle to do that, uh, Know that God's working with you, guiding you, helping you, and blessing you.